Hey there guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Happy to have you back. If you're new, my name is Yvonne Kendi and on this channel, I share about home styling, home decor, home organization. So if it, it's something that you'd be interested in, then consider hitting that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can also be notified every other time that I upload. So for today's video, I did a bedroom makeover. I think two or three weeks ago but one thing i did not talk about is some of the tips that i feel can be helpful when styling your bed so that's what i'll be talking about today if you're interested then keep watching this video comes to styling your bed uh one of the key things that i like to note is that you need to create a good foundation so creating a good foundation you need a beautiful rug something that goes maybe under your bed or maybe you can use uh bedside rugs for me i use bedside rugs but uh, if you can get a big rug that can go under your bed that's something that i would recommend so get a beautiful rug that has color tones that are represented with the rest of the decor in the house also something that is cozy because it's a bedroom you want the bedroom to feel uh to have that coziness feel so make sure it's something cozy something beautiful and something that now coordinates with the rest of the decor in the house and then when it comes to my bedding i like to put to have most of my bedding in a neutral color and then just decorate now with the rest of the pillows so mostly you find my duvet cover my some of the pillows my my bed sheets are in a neutral color and then i bring in a bit of color now uh with the with the decor pillows that i have on the bed uh for me i'm more of a scandinavian girl which means uh lots and lots of neutrals and just a small pop of color so i have lots of white going on and just and then just like a small pop of pink in the house and i've made sure that that color tone is represented with the rest of the decor or is spread out with the rest of the decor that i have in the house so that's uh one tip then uh, another tip is if you have a duvet and now you need a duvet cover, I would say uh, make sure you pick a duvet cover that is the same size with your duvet. That is if your duvet is 5 by 6 get a duvet cover that is also 5 by 6 Don't go small on size or don't go big on size because it's not going to fit. So make sure you, uh, you know the size of your duvet before purchasing a duvet cover. Then another thing I like to do is I like to fold my duvet uh, into that to create that extra fluffiness uh, on the bed. But it's not something you have to do. You can only spread your duvet straight on the bed. But for me, for that extra fluffiness, that extra coziness, I like to fold it into that. When it comes to picking out pillows, there can be a bit of struggle there because I've struggled with that mostly when it comes to like the size of pillow I'm supposed to pick. But um the overall rule when it comes to picking out pillows the size of your bed really matters so if you have a queen bed i would recommend you to get maybe a 26 inch a 24 inch or a 22 inch pillow nothing more nothing less than that that is the case now with my bed my bed is a five by six which i think is like a queen size bed so those size of pillows are the 22 24 and 26 inch is what i would recommend you to get then if you have a king bed which is like a six by six bed get 26 inches or 24 inches of pillows so nothing more than that nothing less than that my black pillows the bigger black pillows that i have they are 26 inches and then the small ones that i have 
the small pink one and the the white one they have 24 inches so yeah pay attention to that uh then the size of your bed determine the size of the pillows that you pick then to like give that final touch on the bed i like using throw blankets and when it comes to throw blankets it's something that adds texture it also gives that coziness on the bed so don't skip on that and uh this is the part where i also like to play with pattern with color but still uh noting that i have to bring in throw blankets that also color coordinate with the rest of the decor in the house mostly your pillows because throw blankets are thrown on your bed so you want to make sure the colors that are on the throw blankets are also rep represented with the colors on the pillows maybe if you have a frame over your bed then uh, you can also try and blend that with the throw blanket but if you don't have try and just blend it out with the pillows that you have on your bed so i also like to layer my throw blanket in twos so i have a uh, one in a dark color that goes with the dark pillows and uh, i have a uh, the fluffy one that has pink tones on it that goes nicely with the pink color that i have so an overall tip i would have for you when styling your bed is just pay attention to the small details uh, make sure you play with different tones with different colors don't be much much around the house in terms of texture or in color uh, also don't bring in too much color that is uh, maybe your bedside tables you've decorated with uh, something that is red and then your bed you bring pink uh, pillows then your curtains are green your rug is blue that is just too much so just bring in a bit of color that you know you can spread out with the rest of the decor now in the house so just pay attention to those three things just textures color and just play out with uh, different layers in your room to just create that extra coziness and that inviting look in your bedroom so yeah and that's it for today's video thank you so much guys for watching it was a super quick one i hope you learned a thing or two if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you feel it's helpful to someone else don't forget to share the video and uh yes let me know in the comment section below what is like your bedroom obsession for me i'm mostly obsessed with uh pillows and throw blankets so let me know in the comment section what your bedroom obsessions are so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video bye bye